What's up guys, GT Game here and welcome back to The Crew 2 and today we're doing a race, we're going once again from here in Los Angeles all the way over the United States from west coast to east to the Long Island Aerodrome over here. You may remember that we did this in an ADTT a couple of weeks ago and we set a pretty decent time so I want to try and beat it now in an aeroplane. Uh, did I just remove my waypoint? No, I did not. Right, it's that button to switch to a plane, so let's get ready to go in three, two, one, go. Oh, uh, that was unexpected. I thought it'd throw me into the air. This plane has a top speed of 425 miles per hour, so we're going to have some, some difficulties being this. I'm going to try to do this in a boat and in a bike, on a bike, and I'll be honest, I'm a massive car fan, I kind of want the car to win, and since I did it last time in the ADTT, I've got some better cars, so I am going to try and beat this in the car afterwards, right. The waypoint is over in this direction, vaguely, so we've got to fly there, we've got to land. Oh, there's a plane over there. A nice little uh, Boeing of some kind. Oh, no. Over there. We've got to land and then cross the finish line which we used in the Audi TT when we get there. And my god, this plane is fast. 200 miles per hour. <laughs> it did say this had a top speed of 425, but I'm going to take that with a pinch of salt. Jesus, I cannot believe how fast this thing is. Let's see what the interior looks like. Oh, that's really... That was not expected. Damn. I like that. That's really fucking cool. I really like that. But yeah, we're going to have our work cut out for us now, trying to keep up with this thing. Like, Jesus Christ. Um, in other news, I'm at 996 subscribers as I'm recording this. We're already 54 miles out. This is going to monster this. I can see the waypoint. But yeah, I'm at 996 subscribers uh, as I'm recording this. I may well have hit 1,000 by the time this goes out, which is absolutely amazing. My goal all this time ever since I started was 1,000 subscribers, so to actually have reached that so quickly, that is, uh, that's amazing. So thank you guys so much for that. I can genuinely remember, and I know I've said this before, when I had 8 subscribers, and I would release videos and they would genuinely get no views. I, I, I do still remember that. I can also remember how excited I was when I got my first comment. So uh, that was pretty crazy. And then when I hit 100 subscribers, I was well chuffed. We're already over... I don't even know where we are. There's LA. This map is humongous. We're at 5,000... Uh, 6,000 feet. Let's, let's climb up to 10 phase and make it a bit more fair on the car, and the bike, and the, the boat. But yeah, 100 subscribers feels like it was absolutely no time ago. I remember one day I got 32 subscribers in like an hour, and that was like the best feeling in the world. So I just wanted to say thank you for that. And um, another thing is... I haven't been posting videos a lot recently, we're at 10,000 feet almost, let's stay there. And the reason for that, I do have a pretty good reason, it's because basically I've been having an issue with my PC where it randomly decides that it doesn't want to work and the screen will just go really fuzzy. And it, it makes it unusable. Like, genuinely, it's multiple colours, it's unusable, you can't read anything, and I cannot game like that. But the weird thing is, it was only one monitor. I've got two, and it was only the one monitor that was doing it. So, my first thought was, okay, it's probably some kind of interference. So, I thought, okay, I'll make sure the cables are plugged in. And that did nothing to help it. So... I tried different cables, I switched from HDMI to DisplayPort, 
that briefly worked for about three days later it went on the blink again bear in mind this issue has been going on for a few weeks now God, only 45 miles out and it's been progressively getting worse so I knew it wasn't the cables or the ports so I thought right okay what if it's the monitor the monitors on its way out so I got a new monitor I switched them over and it fixed it for a bit but then it continued once again oh my god that plane's close to us I can't look down at it that's annoying so I narrowed it down it wasn't the cables it wasn't that they weren't plugged in it wasn't the monitors so I thought okay practice interference the microwave in my flat is just behind the wall behind my computer so I turned that off and I turned off the mini fridge next to it and it didn't help so I was like, right, okay, I'm going to have to accept at this point that it's my graphics card. And I've got my graphics card, I spent £650 on it. So I was like, oh, I hope it's not my graphics card. But eventually I gave in. So I got a 1050 Ti graphics card that I had lying around, put it in, took the 1080 out, and it worked for about a week. So I was running a 1050 Ti. And then all of a sudden it went again, I was like, right, it's not the graphics card, it's not the cables, it's not the ports, and it's not interference, what the hell could this be? Oh my god, what the hell, that plane was ridiculously close to us. Yeah, I tried all these things and none of them were working, I was like, what could this possibly be? And then I had a brainwave, okay, what if it's the port on my motherboard that my graphics card goes into, the PCI Express lane. And that, I thought that was a brainwave, so I thought, right, okay, I'll take my graphics card out and I'll move it to the second port. And it worked again, and it worked for over a week. So I was like, oh, that means it's fixed. It must be the PCI Express lane. But the problem is, I couldn't then put my 1080 Ti in because the second port had loads of things behind it blocking it, it's not designed for massive graphics cards so I had to stay with my 1050 so I thought okay that's a small sacrifice, I'll just buy a new motherboard when it comes around to it and I, just, I genuinely thought I'd fixed it then and then a couple of, couple of uh, days after that it went on the blink once more god that's so good this map and I was like right it's not the RAM it's not the graphics card. No, no, sorry, it's not the graphics card and it's not the port, it's not the cables, it's not my, what if it's RAM? So I reseated my RAM and it didn't do nothing. And at this point I was just like, what could it possibly be? I even tried changing my processor and nothing was working. I, I, I could not fathom this. I like to think I'm good at PCs, but I was just gobsmacked. I, what could this possibly be? So, I thought, right, I'm going to have to try and narrow it down what is causing this. So I run a um, benchmark on my, my computer which tests every single component to see what, if there's an issue, what each one's performing like. So I set that to run, it takes about 20 minutes, and I went to make some food. Then when I come back, it was just magically fixed. I don't know why. I tried changing the drivers and all that, so I knew it wasn't that. But whatever that benchmark did, it fixed it. So I was running a 1050 Ti in my secondary slot. My computer was fine fixed. So just this morning, just before I started recording this video, I put my 1080 Ti back in. But I, I genuinely, I could not figure that out because that meant that quite a lot of the time I just could not game because I, it just, I couldn't game on a monitor that's broken. So that's why I haven't been uploading videos recently, and as far as I know, I've been running it for almost a week, well, over a week now, actually, and it's been working fine, so that's kind of my hope, that that's fixed. Oh, uh, I just figured something out. If you hold down the throttle, you go faster, because it does so that's kind of like a boost. Oh, that probably gave the, the car an unfair advantage. Sorry. <laughs> I really want to know where I am. This is where we're transitioning from west coast to east coast. 
but I can't look. look at that, the Great Lakes down there. This map is so big. I think that's St. Louis down there, St. Louis, Missouri. That would be... i try to figure that out. Houston? Is Houston in this game? There's where we come from. This is that the salt flats over there? Ah. Huh. Either way, we're at 13,000 feet, we're going 190 miles per hour, and we're only 27 miles out. So, uh, that's good. It's kind of annoying, because I am going to try this again afterwards, after we've tried all of them, see which is the fastest. I'm going to retry this in the car, because I've got better cars now. And I am a massive car fan, like, I do like my cars quite a bit, and I kind of want the car to win, I'll be honest. So, I am going to try this again. So, in cars, I had quite a nice surprise the other day. It's been a new personal highlight. Yeah, I had a quite a nice surprise because, as you guys know, I wrote my first car off within, a, like, literally the same day I passed my test. I had a CFIB for 2002, 1.2 litre petrol, in the snow. I passed my test as it started snowing. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to show my friends how to drive. Went 85 mile an hour down a country lane and slammed into a concrete block. Concrete block, I can't English today. And wrote my car off, so that was fun. And then I had another car, a Chevy Carlos. And that I wrote off, and I will take blame for it, but I'm not, it wasn't an accident. Basically, I was going down the highway, and I went, gear-wise, I went first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and in my mind, for some reason, I had a sixth gear, and I tried to put it in sixth, which was actually first, and my engine exploded. So, yeah. So then I bought my third car, which was a 2016 Toyota Raigo, one meter on finance. And I've still got that to this day, but for some reason, in my mind, I bought that on July 28th. I don't know why that specific day, I was just convinced that I bought that on July 28th. So I went on my insurance thing the other day and saw that it renewed on the 15th of March. No, May, sorry. And I said, like, that's odd, because it renews every year. So I checked when I bought my car, and sure enough, it was on the 15th of May, which is two months sooner than I assumed. That's Chicago down there. But you might, wa might wonder, why is that such good news? And the reason is because I'm 21, and I've been driving less than a year. In fact, it will be a year next month. And when you're my age, insurance is ridiculously expensive. I once got quoted £27,900 on a car worth £400. And I'm not even kidding. So my insurance on my car, even though it's one of the safest and slowest cars out there, is two grand. So when that renews, that'll drop down to about £1,500. So I'm actually looking forward to that quite a lot. It means I'll have a lot more money to spare. So that's, uh, that's good. Trying to work out what some of my surroundings are. There's a power station down there. Not really sure what that is underneath me. There's Florida and the Keys down there. That's Texas. And that's the Great Lakes there with Chicago and Detroit. Right, I think 13,000 feet. It's time to start descending. So, I'm going to reduce my throttle down to, let's go for 24%. I am going to treat this like an actual plane. So we are descending like an actual plane. You know, I'm trying to be as fair as I can. I know this is an acrobatics plane, but they don't have 747s in this game. Right, slight nose up angle. And hopefully, yep, yeah, it's started to drop now. That's good. I'm just going to let it drop like that actually. I think that'll be more... Because planes don't flare, basically pick their nose up for landing until the last few hundred feet they do point their nose down a little bit. So I'm gonna do the same. I don't want to point my nose down that sharp though. I'm thinking fly over New York because why the hell not? Like at the end of the day it's New York and we're on a plane that would be pretty cool. Okay, we're diving quite a nose down. Is this the plane that the Red Arrow uses? That's what. That's my question right now. 
I'm not sure. It looks like the plane, the Red Arrows, which is basically the UK's version of the Blue Angels. It looks like the planes that they use. Huh. I wonder if it is. We're actually going quite fast. I'm going to drop my throttle down to 5%. Which will be enough to keep me in the air, but I don't want to go... I don't want to dive ridiculously fast. You can see the line on the ground there where the textures are loaded in properly. That's actually pretty cool. There it goes. Just loaded in. Right. I'm going to start descending like this now, so a more accurate nose down angle. I don't know. Is that accurate? I don't know. I'll be honest, I've never flown a plane. I know that Alex757 um, out of OCRP has. I should probably ask him. What is that underneath my plane? It looks like some kind of quarry, maybe? I just got some more fans for some reason. It's kind of hard to keep this plane level. And what is that down there to my right? That's a very square, rectangular shaped city. We're 12 miles out. And as I said, I want to fly low over New York and then cruise in. We have to land. I'm thinking try and land on the aerodrome and then switch to the car to cross the finish line. There's no way we could cross the finish line in a plane. That's just not going to work. We're at 4,000 feet, still descending, so I'm going to apply a bit of throttle. I'm going to go up to about 50%. 49, that'll do. Just to cruise in. I want to see what this is underneath us here. And these forests. This looks like Virginia. I don't know. In my mind, this is what I picture Virginia to be like. What the hell is that? It's got to be a mine. Yeah, it is. That's a mine. Oh my god, that's a big machine. <laughs> what? That's sick. I kind of like that. Right, let's cruise over this mine at large. Oh god, these machines are big. Oh my god. That is a massive machine right there. And we're quite low over the trees. There's the Empire State Building. State building. Something else I wanted to bring up, now we got a bit more time before we land, about 7 miles, 8 miles. Do you guys, I know a lot of my subscribers uh, subscribe to like Jeff, Bugs and Polcat and all that, and I'm not going to stir up shit or whatever, I don't want comments about them, but do you guys remember they used to do, they called them Code Zero Patrols, where basically one of them was a criminal, the others were cops. And they just come up with ludicrous scenarios. Well, that inspired me and Troy. And we've been talking about basically recreating our own version. We was going to call it 10-8 Patrol. And I'd like to know what you guys think, if you'd like to see that. Obviously, we're not just going to blatantly rip it off. There are going to be elements that are different and things like that. And we haven't worked out the technicalities yet of how we're going to do it and... You know, it, it, it's still in the works, it's just a brainwave at the moment. Like, the biggest issue will be getting a server to do it on. But other than that, would you guys be interested in seeing that? That's my question for you guys. Because I used to enjoy those patrols, and I think they are very fun. You can, it's basically roleplay, but without the craziness. Empire State Building, where's the one World Trade Center? There it is. There used to be two of them. You know, let's just let's not bring that up. Yeah, I, I want to know if you guys would be interested in seeing a 10 8 patrol, Code Zero patrol type style roleplay. Because it, as I said, it's roleplay without the repercussions or the limitations. You can basically do what you want. And because it's a closed community, there's no misunderstandings or annoying 
technicalities and stuff. It genuinely just is role play. Short segments, 10, 15, 20 minutes long, where you just come up with a crazy character and basically cause shit for the cops. And we thought that would be fun. We're still trying to figure out, as I said. But I want to know if you guys would like to see something like that. Let me know in the comments. And make sure you like the video and press a little bell notification while you're down there. Um, right, we are getting very close to landing now. We're 1.8 miles out. No, I'm way too low. Thank God this is a freaking acrobatics plane. In real life, I would have cut the top of that tree off. Right, okay, this is an issue. So I need to get enough throttle to stay level and not descend, but not too much that I'm going to fly past the... literally fly past the finish line. Oh, I can see the aerodrome. Right, okay, now I am genuinely going to cut the throttle. Come on. Time-wise, I think, I think we're doing a lot better. Okay, we're too... Throttle too low. Okay, how? Am, oh my god, this is going to be a tricky landing. Oh my god, I don't actually know how we're going to do it. Ah, rudder, that would have helped. Oh! That did not work. That didn't work. I don't think I can get out of here. Okay. I fucked this up at the end. Fuck. I need a. 4x4, four four. that'll do. Oh, it put me on the track. Okay. Uh, where's the finish line? Uh, I'm just gonna go around the track and find, like, a pit lane to get out. I don't know, I'm pretty sure we won, but this is a race, so I'm gonna be fair. I did slightly misjudge that, though. Right, somewhere up here gotta be a way out and it's gotta be somewhere here oh sorry there it is sorry I'm in a race I'm going the wrong way here I do apologize I do heartfully apologize but this is important oh I missed the turning sorry I don't care if I just hit your car this is important I'm on official US government business. So this bridge is the finish line, the other end of the... No, it's this end of the bridge. So, three, two, one, go. Cut the time. Ah, uh, that was close, but we edged it. We... <sighs> the planes has it by a long way. It wasn't even close, I lied. Yeah, that's not... I was kind of hoping to win that in the car, I'll be honest. I'm going to have to retry that. <sighs> well, shucks. I, we're going to have to try the boat next. 105 miles an hour. 146, that's better. Oh, well, let's have a celebratory lap in uh, a NASCAR. What the... How do you come up with the logic that that is the right place to put me? jump. <laughs> yeah, what is that green line around the outside of my speedometer? It's not boost. Um. Oh well, celebratory lap time. Damn, that plane was fast. I even tried to make it fair by descending at a slower speed. Ah. Uh. I really wanted the car to win that, but it just it couldn't do it. Planes can go straight line, remember. Cars cannot. And the plane was a heck of a lot faster than most of my cars. The only way I can beat that is in my Ferrari or another car that I unlock. And just absolutely floor it the entire way across. Because the Ferrari can hit 215, 220. If I can do that speed all the way across in a relatively straight line, we've got a shot. Other than that, I don't see how that's going to get beaten. Which kind of sucks. Oh well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you come back for the next episode of The Crew 2. And I will see you then. Peace out, guys.
drift. 